What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, uh, a bunch of stuff happened in Fortnite. We have uh, primal shotgun changes. They actually got nerfed. The recycler got buffed in a lot of ways, even though it's only been out for like two days. And also, the Pokemon was supposed to come back, out, come back out tonight, which I have proof to show you that it actually isn't come back out tonight. So let's hop right into it. So as you guys can see on screen here, it says Pokemon. Since you guys asked for it, my Poke Fortnite game emo is back tonight. Uh, FNSS actually said this Pokemon will return in tonight, tonight's Fortnite item shop. So that's actually confirmed. Um, they actually hinted at it, which I'm going to show the video clip now. Thursday, and I have a surprise Thursday. I have a surprise. A surprise that is um, backed by popular demand. And I'm not going to look at chat because I don't want to give away what it is. I'm not looking. They actually hinted at it um, earlier on, I think Tuesday, and um, yeah, well now it's official, so uh, yeah, it's pretty cool stuff right there. So on to the way more important stuff that happened today, which is hot fixes. Uh, so basically, the Primal Shotgun actually got nerfed in various different forms. So the ways that these got nerfed are actually on screen. So Primal Damage changes, the common went from 54 damage to 45 damage, the uncommon went from 57 to 47 damage. The rare rarity of the Primal Shotgun, obviously, went from 60 to 50 damage. The Epic uh, went from 63 to 52 damage. Legendary went from 66 to 55. And then the Mythic, which is probably one of the most more important ones, because now the Mythic is actually only doing two more damage than the Legendary. So it went from 69 to 57. So that is a huge change right there. And that hopefully means that the Primal sh Shotgun will be less OP. Uh, obviously, it's probably not going to make it, obviously, like all the way over better but uh for the most part it's gonna help out also the pull out time for the primal shotgun also got uh buffed a little bit but that makes sense because of the primal shotgun damage changes so the recycler actually got buffed in this hot fix the recycle all variants have been buffed 60 damage per second to environment and increased damage values to 75 79 and 86 so nothing really changed between the rare and the epic but the legendary actually went up from i believe it was 83 before to 86 damage and the environmental damage which means like if you're hitting per se a wall or um, you know like your builds then that will actually be buffed a lot so because before it was really just horrible for that and um, now when you try and get rid of walls and stuff like that it actually is fixed to the point where it's um, way more buffed and you can easily get rid of a wall uh, a lot easier though so this is what FNSS said on Twitter so it appears that the recycler has C and UC variants for common and uncommon rarities of the gun so Say if you, well, there's, in the files, there's a uh, common rarity and uncommon rarity for the recyclers, which is pretty interesting. And they do not physically exist, as well as UR variant, which is mythic and also does not exist. So there could also be a mythic version coming very soon. These could have just been updated for all variants or future scrapped slash scrapped variants of the weapon. Uh, so yeah, pretty interesting stuff right there. So basically these could be scrapped or they could be coming to the game very, very soon. Um, so, also, along with that, the following weapons have mythic version sets. The mechanical explosive bow, the recycler, and then the primal rifle, which would be pretty interesting if the primal rifle came in, uh, cause that is already OP in my opinion, um, and the mechanical explosive bow is already OP in my opinion, so I mean, it would be kinda crazy if that those came in. Uh, once again, there's a chance that these are scrapped mythic weapons, but maybe we can see them in a future update. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy right there. So I did want to mention this in the video, uh, just in case you did g use uh, Fortnite.gg. So CyberPK says I spent a lot of money on Fortnite skins. Sheesh. So basically, uh, there's this website called Fortnite.gg um, that is well doing this, and uh, basically, this is what Epic supporter creator said uh, at the bottom of that. They said, "Reminder that currently there is no official feature to check account st statistics." So uh, this is just a third-party tool. Um, to check your account statistics. So logging into third-party tools to do so is not recommended. If you're accessed, if you accessed any of these tools, we suggest you change your account password and ensure two-factor authentication. Um, and then Fortnite.gg actually said this. They said, to be clear, my site Fortnite.gg is not affiliated in any way with Epic Games. I'm just trying to help the community with useful guides and tools. I'm not doing anything malicious with your accounts. So if you did use this tool from um, Cyber PK's comment section, he actually said, if you want to go and check your stats yourself, uh, Fortnite.gg. That's when Epic Games came in and posted that. Uh, but Fortnite.gg, uh, personally, I did it, uh, and uh, I already have two-factor two authentication on. 
I'm probably gonna change my password anyways though uh, because I don't want it to be you know logged into or anything like that so if you did use the site I'm just giving you um, a suggestion if you you know if you want to do that you can obviously have two uh, two factor authentication on and change your password it's not that bad um but yeah that's that's just a suggestion uh, if you did use that site so the last and final thing that did happen today was the egg launch from webster npc has been removed and the rag searches duos and shockwave trios ltms have been enabled so uh, all the easter stuff has been removed uh so yeah th there's that also the bounty eggs he did not mention that in the suite but the bounty eggs also got removed uh after the challenge so uh yeah the challenge that it was they gave you a whole entire week to do it and uh, there you go so everything that happened in today compact into one video uh so if you guys enjoy hit the like button subscribe to the post notifications also i did create a brand new channel it's called yt4 reacts make sure you go and check it out it's in the description box below and um uh, yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow uh for a stream or the next daily news break i'm gonna call it that from now on so daily news break for fortnite tomorrow sounds kind of cringy but uh make sure you go and check it out um i don't know if i'm gonna stream tonight probably not gonna stream tonight but uh tomorrow might stream tomorrow who knows uh also two reaction videos a day over at wine 4 reacts make sure you go and check it in the description box below we do a bunch of stuff over there not only fortnite we also do uh music we do nfl stuff we do literally anything that uh you guys want to react to um <laughs>